Good morning, Idaho. 615 on your Tuesday morning. Still cold out there. Not a whole lot of cloud cover, at least no high cloud cover. Might still look a little overcast here in Boise because of this inversion. Right now, 28 degrees in Boise and in Mountain Home. That's where we're seeing the dense fog advisory for the Upper Treasure Valley. So that's going to be your Boise, Eagle, Meridian, seeing a little bit of fog stretching down into Mountain Home. Ontario, Nampa, Caldwell, they all look pretty clear this morning. No advisory issued. Still could see some patchy fog on your morning commute, but it's definitely worse in the Boise area uh, and stretching down into Mountain Home. Twin Falls has a little more cloud cover to start the day as well. So they're at 33 degrees right now. 14 in Stanley, though, a chillier start uh, as we move into the West and East Central Mountains. For the most part, those, uh, those snow showers we saw yesterday morning have moved out of the state. Still could see a few flurries pop up in the Magic Valley this morning, but right now it's pushed off mainly toward eastern Idaho and uh, a little farther south into Utah. So those, that storm that we saw yesterday morning, now pretty much out of the region. And we're going to see dry conditions as we head into the end of this week. You can see this break in the clouds right here, and that's what's going to shift as we get into the next couple of days. Keep us pretty clear. Of course, in Boise, not exactly going to feel or look clear because of the inversion. Might see a little haze sticking around. But if you head up to the mountains, the central mountains looking gorgeous for the next couple of days, and that high pressure system is going to keep our conditions mild, keep us dry, and it'll warm up a little bit as we get into the next couple of days. Now, behind this high pressure system is uh, some Pacific moisture, and that is going to get into our area as we move into this weekend. And it looks like like several weak weather systems moving through. But the good news is, is when you have those all in a row, it's actually going to start to break down that inversion a little bit. So it does look like it'll be rain in Boise rather than snow, and it'll start this uh, slow warming trend as we get into the start of next week. So things are definitely looking better. I think uh, we have a pretty good chance of finally getting rid of this inversion as we get into probably next Monday. Today, high of 34, 35 in uh, Nampa, 36 in Caldwell. Colder in Boise with a high of 32. That inversion really keeping us uh, chilly with that patchy fog. Also, some areas of fog in the Magic Valley, and we're starting out with a little more cloud cover. Might see some peaks of sunshine as we get into tonight, though. 31 is the high in Twin Falls. The West Central Mountains starting, a, starting out a bit cloudier as well, but we'll have some afternoon clearing and some uh, evening clearing that'll uh, let us enjoy some sunshine today, some blue skies. Low 30s through the Long Valley today, and some patchy fog this morning. East Central Mountains, some sunshine. It'll be a gorgeous day. Temperatures are chilly. 29 is the high in Stanley, 32 in Sun Valley, but not as much cloud cover as what we'll see in the valleys in the West Central Mountains. So a nice day to uh, head up to Sun Valley. Looking at our extended forecast, you can see the next couple of days that high pressure system keeping keeping our skies clear. Of course, the fog and the haze is going to uh, not let us enjoy all that sunshine and blue skies. And then you can see those systems coming through Friday, Saturday, Sunday, even Monday, having chance of some showers every day. But uh, also our temperatures slowly starting to warm up into almost the 40s as we get into next week. And so that's good news. Hopefully that's what will finally break down this awful inversion. Spencer, Jillian?